Welcome back to Free Arts Academy. Today we'll be doing a Christmas Colors Acrylic Pour in two styles and two techniques. Let's start out by mixing our colors with acrylic pouring medium. I'm using my squeezy bottles here. You could just as easily mix your paint in plastic cups or in a jar. Mix your colors well. I will be using titanium white, metallic green, and red with silicone oil mixed in. So let's grab a plastic cup or jar and start layering our colors. I'm gonna start with my titanium white. I'm simply gonna pour as much as I think I need here. It's gonna be a dirty pour, so we will layer in our color again. The next color will be red. Then we will layer in some metallic green. You can see it's already got a great shimmering quality. And we are going to do a flip cup dirty pour on this. So we've layered our colors. We're going to place the canvas on top of the cup, flip it over, and slowly remove the cup from the canvas. Now we will take the action that we typically do take, which is orienting our canvas in different directions and tilting the canvas so that the paint can pour off the sides, cascade off of the sides very beautifully. Sometimes you need to add a little bit of paint to the sides if your cup doesn't have quite enough. That's all right. Be patient here and let the paint drip off of the sides naturally with a tilt. So this is the conclusion of the first acrylic pour using some silicone oil and a flip cup pour method. The second acrylic pour is going to be a slightly different method and we're going to add this shimmering gold color. We'll still be using our squeezy bottles and some of my colors do have silicone oil mixed in. You'll see the cells later. I started with this open cup pour with gold color to start and second I'll layer in some metallic green using the side of the cup so it layers well. We'll add some red here. The red is also a metallic color, it's very nice. And we will end with a layer of titanium white around the side of the gold and a little on the top of the layering cup. Looks neat already. So we'll slowly spin and lift this cup off of the canvas. It's starting to look cool already. And we'll start tipping. And so now we'll pick up our canvas gently and start tipping the canvas and reorienting the canvas so that the paint starts cascading off of the sides, just like we like. We wanna be patient here and allow all of the paint, all the extra paint, to cascade off of the sides, drip off of the sides, so that we don't have too much paint on the canvas and we will avoid cracks. And as we usually say, it does pay to be patient here. If you rush this and you leave too much paint on the canvas, you risk the paint cracking or the cells not showing up or weird bubbles. Um, you just need to be patient here and change the canvas around, reorient it, your canvas and let the paint drips drip off. Now we'll use our DIY drying rack to allow our painting to dry over the next couple of days. You can already see that the silicone oil is starting to open up some bubbles here and those will create cells in time. We tried this interesting method of using a torch over the top of our painting and we wanted to do this to see if the silicone oil cells would open up a little more. And we did notice that we could see some um, oil bubbles popping and cells opening when we did this method. It's pretty interesting. It kind of ends up looking a little speckly, but we like it. 
please let us know in the comments below how your painting came out. We are here to help you become the most creative version of yourself. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more art and craft videos just like this. See you next time! To find out more about us, please visit our website, freeartsacademy.com.